Sky Futures use drones in complex environments, so taking what is perceived as an everyday item and actually using it to remove risk. So where a man might be required to be put in danger, we'll fly a drone instead. We use drones as a data collection device to enable us to get better and more accurate information for industrial infrastructure. Sky Futures very much see ourselves at the forefront of pushing drone innovation. We started the business back in 2009. I previously, with one of my co-founders, worked in the military where we were using drones in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we realized that there was a lot more information that you could get from drone-based inspections. And we felt that we could apply that to the industrial inspection market. Sky Futures provide an external inspection service, but we also provide a internal inspection service. So we use a system which is called the Elios, and it's a gimbal-mounted caged drone. It allows us to fly the drone in a confined space in a dangerous environment. It'll allow you to interrogate and inspect an environment or look for items and areas of interest, gather the imagery, withdraw the drone, and you've not had a requirement to put a man there. We enable engineering companies who want to do drone-based industrial inspection to set up a full capability from scratch in under three months. The training is very bespoke to each client. First two days of flight training are generally all the basics. Then the last two days they then progress onto scenario-based training. And we have a number of different scenarios. So when the guys complete the course, they're ready to deploy immediately. Being a UK-based company has been integral to Sky Future's success to this date. The UK has been very forward-leaning in embracing technology and the UK is very supportive of its tech companies and its tech innovation. The way we can get investment through the EIS scheme, all the way through to the other people that have worked in highly successful companies that can mentor you. So there's a lot in the UK that has helped us succeed. Being from the UK has given us extra weight, extra credence, and so it's allowed us to operate in regions of the world where on paper it makes sense to use in-country companies, support, but actually they like the credibility that we bring and the experience we bring and the support we bring as a UK-based company. So we've recently established a partnership with Mitsui in Japan, which has been a great platform for us to develop our service and our expertise. By utilizing Sky Futures technology and services, we aim to achieve digital transformation, which brings about reduction of operation cost and enhancement of the value of our own assets. It gives us assurance in doing business with a small startup company like Sky Future in that it is operated in compliance with the Company Act, which provides highly transparent laws and regulations. As a Japanese-based company, they're very detail-driven, and I think we knew we had met all the regulations that were pertinent to Japan, and it very much aligns with the way that Sky Futures work. Hardworking people who promote innovation with an abundance of enterprising spirit. They are quick in making decisions and take the effort to make every point clear. The UK and Japan are very old trading partners, and actually both being island nations have got a lot of synergies, so we find that it works very well doing business in Japan. I think with drone businesses, it's very important to stay ahead with any kind of cutting edge technology. One of the things that we've been really focused on is artificial intelligence, and so by bringing in supervised machine learning on our own industrial data sets for the last two years, moving forward to machine learning back in 2017 and, and through to self-learning in, in 2018, we went global from the offset. And because technology is really borderless, we've enabled ourselves to stay right at the forefront of the industry.